welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we had dumped a bunch of dirt from our other dump truck. I don't think I showed it in the last episode. It, it looked just like the one that I've got parked over here, the blue one. But I had it at like 800,000 liters or something like that. So it wasn't really feasible. It took forever to fill it. And then when I sent it to sell the dirt, it was too much dirt. They basically had no more demand for dirt at when it hit about 30%. So I traded that one back in and I got this one that's got like 70k um, capacity. I think it was. But hopefully that will make so that it's not too much. It makes it more realistic, put it that way. At least I do have all this dirt that I can now put into it. the other trucks and stuff. So. Okay, well let's get these filled and get them on their way. I do have 
another game I'm gonna be recording pretty soon. It's a beak Bo boss beak. It's a beekeeping simulator. I just found it on Steam the other day. It was only $2.99, so I got it. The controls are a little rough, but it's really early access. It's a beekeeping game. I've been a beekeeper since 1994, so it's something that I've kind of always wanted. Problem is, is the graphics on it are kind of like what graphics were back when I wanted, or back when I was dreaming it up back in the 90s. <laughs> But I guess they are better than they would have been back then. There is another beekeeping game that's kind of the 2D um, format and kind of digitally. It's fairly new too. It's I just I don't play it much because it it just reminds me of playing on the Atari. You don't have a thousand dollar computer to play um, <laughs> that kind of game. At least not for me. We're getting some oak trees planted. I cleared this part of the field so I could have a bigger yard with some oaks and that stuff. Kind of decorate the yard a little bit better. Eventually I'll get some chickens too. The problem is, this, like I said, I, I need to get chicken feed and means for water and stuff. And you can see I've only got what can't really see it from here. It's like eighteen eighteen thousand dollars. So I'm doing voiceover. I'm not recording the voice as I'm playing. It's on my computer screen, it's kinda of far off. I can't barely see the, the numbers. I'm contemplating putting a sidewalk coming from the door, but I I don't know. Might put put a dirt trail or track or something like there. Got time? I'll think about it. That yeah, definitely looking looking better. I do. I like the gravel. The gravel texture is really nice looking. Oh, those trucks are there. They are. Yeah. yeah, I was afraid of this. It's, it's dumping it, but it's so little dirt, it's like it's dumping it as its demand is coming back. So they must be gradually processing the dirt or something, so the dirt that's processed then is out of the inventory of dirt that's being delivered. So then you can deliver more, but it, it's basically just, I'm still losing money.
offer for dirt. I think this could be... But the problem is, is I need to put that on my property. It just takes away from the realism if I have a cell point right on my property. You need to be able to haul this stuff a distance to make it more realistic. Uh, let's see. The dump truck should be... Oh no, shoot, I forgot. It, it doesn't go down the correct direction. Because I didn't have a turn off from that direction to go to the shop so it's going all the way back to home to come around to go back to the shop as you can see here on the yeah see it it's going what I'm gonna do is I will jump off and we'll get it back to where we can set up the waypoint okay I'll be right back with you okay let's jump into the other truck and we're gonna set a new route with the auto drive so we'll take the corner and we'll set a waypoint we gotta get it over to that okay there we go we got two points so now we have to click on this marker and drag over to the new one so it's going in the right direction now we'll move forward a little bit more and we're gonna set grab from here and grab to the next point we gotta grab to the upper one where I was pointing at the lower indicator we need to click on the upper indicator which I figure out in a little bit here there we go okay now we should be able to set it over to the shop and turn and turn off the record set the shop turn off the record hit go and now the truck should make its way over there and let's see yeah here's the dump truck we can actually set the the markers using this truck Uh, the 
this is where we have to come to drop it off to return it or to sell the truck that we're not using anymore. And shop sell or shop return point, we'll put it as. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.